Hello, this is Myra Elaine on the Buying Space channel. I'm continuing my series on Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I am in Luke chapter 12, starting in verse 35. Be ready for the Lord's coming is the title of the section. Be dressed for service and keep your lamp burning as though you were waiting for your master to return from the wedding feast. Then you will be ready to open the door and let him in the moment he arrives and knocks. The servants who are ready and waiting for his return will be rewarded. I tell you the truth, he has himself will seat them, put on an apron, and serve them as they sit and eat. He may come in the middle of the night or just before dawn, but whenever he comes, he will reward the servant who is ready. Understand this, if a homeowner knew exactly where a burglar was coming in, he would not permit his house to be broken into. You also must be ready all the time for the Son of Man who will come when is least expected. Peter asked, Lord, is this illustration just for us or for everyone? And the Lord replied, A faithful, sensible servant is one whom the master can give the responsibility of managing his other household servants and feeding them. If the master returns and finds that the servant has done a good job, there will be a reward. I tell you the truth. The master will put that servant in charge of all he owns. But what if the servant thinks, my master won't be back for a while, and he begins beating the other servants? parting and getting drunk. The master will return unannounced and unexpected and he will cut the servant in pieces and banish him from banish him with the unfaithful. And the servant who knows what the master wants but isn't prepared and doesn't carry out these instructions will be severely punished. But someone who does not know and then does something wrong will be punished only lightly. When someone has been given much, much is required in return. And when someone has been given and been entrusted with much, even more will be required. Responsibility leads to privilege. Pri privilege, when it's given, comes with responsibility. So if you expect privilege with no responsibility, well, you might be a narcissist. <laughs> you might not understand how life works. You might feel, I don't know, entitled. Because if you have faithfully served God or your family for decades. It's their responsibility to give you privileges. Because how many people out there are going to continue to serve their family with no privileges, with no return, with no acknowledgement? You can really use people up. But the thing is, your relationship with your family is different from that of God. All one has to do is read Job and know that we're not guaranteed anything. That we are to be good and faithful servants, even when there is no reward, earthly reward. Our reward is in heaven, is for eternity. 
if we give away our possessions to the poor to help the poor, we are storing up treasure in heaven. It's a spiritual reward. It's not a, oh, I love this little piece of glass, so I'm expecting this to be in heaven. I don't know. My heaven might have Fenton in it. <laughs> I don't know. But it's not the same thing. You know, if a friend of mine gave me this as a gift, which they didn't, I bought this myself. But if it was a gift, it might be a gift for that two hours I spent talking to them when they needed me. And it may be just because gift. But with God, he sent his only begotten son to die for us on the cross. And uh, this whole, what have you done for me lately attitude, you know, that sacrifice is eternal. That saves us all from damnation. That was the huge sacrifice so if someone say gives you a kidney and it saves your life and you're able to live out your life as you would have if you didn't hadn't had that bad kidney when do you stop saying thank you you don't for the rest of their life and the rest of your life you need to be grateful for that and all of us need to be grateful and believe and have faith in Jesus Christ because his sacrifice has carried us and is carrying us through eternity. The weight of that. We're not talking about, you know, grandma coming over and taking care of the grandkids for a decade. Grandma certainly needs to be rewarded for that and respected. She needs to be respected to start with, even if she can't do that. But we're talking a life. A life of a man that did no wrong. The Son of God. If you don't believe, I'd like you to take a moment to think about it. And if you think about that, and you want to become a Christian, you want to believe, all you have to do is pray to God and ask Jesus into your heart. And you are a Christian. And you will have eternity. And just think about that. And I want you to have a wonderful and blessed day, but a thoughtful day too.